On January 6th, President Trump gave a speech rejecting the results and calling on people to fight. When we feared that he would incite further violence, we suspended the former president's account. Now, many people are concerned that platforms can ban elected leaders. I am too. We need an accountable process, which is why uh, we created an independent oversight board that can overrule our decisions. The reality is our country is deeply divided right now, and that isn't something that tech companies alone can fix. Mark Zuckerberg on the Facebook Oversight Board, which this week upheld the ban on Donald Trump for inciting January's insurrection at the Capitol. The former president also permanently banned from Twitter. So can Trump mount a political comeback without access to social media? 538's Nate Silver analyzes. There's no doubt that Trump was the king of these social media platforms. Before his suspension, Trump had 89 million Twitter followers that made him the second most fellow politician in the world after Barack Obama. And in the three months leading up to the 2020 election, his Facebook page had 336 million interactions, which is around seven times as many as Joe Biden's 48 million in the same period. There's also no doubt that conversation about Trump is way down since his social media ban. He's now being mentioned about 3 million times per week on Twitter. Before his ban, that number could vary anywhere from about 7 million to 50 million, depending on the week. Here's the thing though, a geeky phrase we like to use at 538, Correlation is not necessarily causation. Why are Trump's numbers down? Well, maybe it's because he's no longer the leader of the free world. In the first couple of weeks after his ban on Twitter, while he was still president, mentions of Trump were still above average with more than 30 million in the first week of his ban. It's only after he decamped to Mar-a-Lago that his numbers became so low. Let's also not neglect the role of the mainstream media. In the 2016 primary, his most important platform was cable news rather than Twitter. News coverage of Trump in the primary was worth the equivalent of $2 billion in advertising spending, according to a New York Times analysis. And by the way, only 22% of Americans even have a Twitter account. That compares to 56% who subscribe to cable TV, even in an era of cord cutting. So I don't really buy that this is a big barrier to Trump's aspirations in 2024. If he has a message that his fans want to hear, he'll likely find some way to get that message out. Hey folks, I predict that you're gonna either subscribe to our YouTube channel or watch some related videos, or both. Um, you can do both, but you can't do neither. So either subscribe or watch more videos.